Sugar she can I'll tell you what I think that the company stinks just I'm a union man Oh you can't get me I'm part of the union Can't get me I'm part of the union Can't get me I'm part of the union Till the day I die Till the day I die But I'm at a When did unions become the enemy of the working class? Oh my god, it's crazy, isn't it? And when did anything, anything that has workers' rights involved with it, it becomes the enemy of the working class? That's how the, uh, the press and the media has, has uh, made it go. Made the, made the people of who need the most feel that way. It's quite amazing, really. Clever, it was horrible, it'd be very clever. You could admire it. Anyway, it's a gloomy day in the UK. It's been overcast, it's been raining most of the morning. Just going past uh, Windsor. You've got Windsor to the left, Slough to the right. Polar opposites? Nah. Slough's a lovely place. Windsor's, Windsor's horrible. Full of benefit scroungers and, um, you know, people who don't do anything for a living. Oh, there, where's Windsor Castle? Yep, there it is. Whee! <coughs> Can you see it? Maybe not. <coughs> Famous for its trading estate, the biggest in Europe at one point. In fact, it's only a little village till they started, till they built the trading estate, and then um, obviously the uh, town sprawled up around it. Yeah, my dad worked there at Mars, the uh, factory, the, the sweet factory, for uh, over 40 years, I think. Not bad. A lot of chocolate when I was a kid. Probably didn't think do me that good, but uh, did eat a lot of chocolate. Um, to bring out little bags there to buy a cheap bit, it's good, like, slightly chocolate forever, like, popular with your friends, I suppose. Not bad, isn't he? <laughs> friends. Jesus. They are a kind of, like, you're supposed to be able to choose your friends, you can't choose your relative, you can choose your friends, but you kind of get stuck with your friends as well, don't you, really? And, um, sort of stuck with them, sort of like, you've entered into a sort of contract with them to sort of uh, provide company for each other over a course of time, be there for them when they're in times of adversity, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, just drinking partners, I suppose, is a different way of looking at it. It is quite sad drinking on your own, on your own. Uh, drinking alone can lead into depression. Um, but there again, drinking with nutters and idiots can lead you into a form of depression and anxiety. So yeah, it's great to not need any friends or not want any friends or any human contact. No, not contact. Um, human company or not need it. Well, you don't need it, yeah, it's just, it, is, it does, uh, it is nice sometimes, but God, people are weird. And yeah, people are conditioned, it's conditioned people. Very open-minded people who, um, give me something to think about, or uh, something different, or just anything different, you know what I mean? I'm Mr. and Mrs. Bland, you know what I mean? They're fun. But, um, yeah. I suppose not everyone could be interested and uh, enriched intellectually as, and enlightened spiritually as myself. But, you know, sometimes you have to slum it with the, uh, with the plebs. Hey, Mr. Reese Morgan. At least I'll always be happier than Reese Paul. Those people are never no true happiness. Never no true ecstasy. And the ability to let themselves go and, you know, be lost in the moment without calculating in their brain their next move or what they should do or how they are perceived or what they should say or what they, should, what they sound like or worried about that, what they look like, blah, 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 blah. You know, so I sort of, I might have all the money in the world, but I've got my life, and I like it. And I like the things I do in it. And I like people. I like uh, the opportunities I've got. I like having to drive to London and deliver, but not find an office delivery address for fucking half an hour. We can nearly go down a bus lane and nearly into the crossrail fucking building site. Oh, God, I hate my life. But you know what I mean? 